Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 11th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leos. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Judgment in the upright. And next, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, followed then by the Nine of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Emperor in the Upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Cups. Not bad for an overall energy. I think it's beautiful. I love the Ten of Cups energy. It's where we're feeling that emotional joy and happiness. It could be for some of you, um, a little bit of a family reunion. Maybe people are getting together, enjoying maybe a nice dinner together or something. And everybody's just really feeling the love. It could be that way for some of you. Remember, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. For others of you, this could be celebrating um, a new situation, perhaps celebrating somebody's engagement in the family or someone um, is expecting a baby. Uh, it could be something like that. It could be representative even of a baby shower where people are getting together celebrating that. For others of you, it's just feeling that emotional fulfillment. Perhaps you've been lacking in it lately, uh, maybe feeling a little bit disconnected emotionally from things or people, and now you're just sort of getting back in that groove. Uh, nobody loves like the Leos. Leos just, you know, just love, have the big biggest hearts. Now, coming right off the hop, we do have the major arcana judgment in the upright position well judgment is known as the resurrection card it can resurrect something from the past for some of you this could be representative of say a um, company you used to work for is now hiring and you've been contemplating maybe going back there um, this could be representative of a relationship uh, perhaps someone you once dated and left in the past maybe due to just whatever extenuating circumstances that person could be perhaps contacting you again it doesn't mean you have to make a judgment call with the the uh judgment card here because one needs to know whether it's something that you want to pursue if something from the past sometimes we leave things in the past for a reason uh, sometimes it's good to just say thank you, but no thank you. Just use the meeting as a closure situation. Others, it could be a situation that this is what you've wanted to happen or you've waited for it to happen. And now here it is. Others of you could just be going back to resurrect something that you did before because what you were are doing now in the moment or were doing is no longer available. So you're just sort of doing something again from the past. Um, others of you, maybe you're having a huge uh, wake-up call, could be having a spiritual awakening of, of a very grand. If you are on the spiritual side, maybe you're having this big, you know, spiritual aha moment in a major way. And it could set you free because now we have the Eight of Swords here in the reverse position. The Eight of Swords in the upright can point to a lot of worries, a lot of stress, a lot of people piping in, making it even worse because they're confusing us. And it's just, oh, we just feel trapped and, and like we can't get released. When the card is inverted, however, we feel released. It's like, yes, my thoughts are no longer holding me hostage. <laughs> and neither are other people's words. <laughs> And moving on towards the weekend, we do have the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior card in the reverse. The Wounded Warrior card in the upright is where we fought many challenges and battles on the same subject. For some of you, this could be about a relationship. For others of you, this is about a career situation, a work situation, a financial situation, a health. Like, again, it's just a general read, so... When the card is inverted, however, this is where we actually are going to be going for through a truce. It could be that this one thing that's been a thorn in your side for a while, this it could be released, whereas you no longer, because we do see you being released here, right? So where you no longer have to fight that particular battle anymore. So say, for example, if it was a job loss, you could get um, hired back from a company that you used to work for before. 
and then you feel released because you're no longer trapped about, oh, what am I going to do? And now you get to lay down your, uh, your wands in this particular uh, situation. You get to lay it down because this is either like a retreat or it's a permanent, I don't have to worry about this challenge at all anymore. But for some of you, it's just a retreat. It's like, at least for now, that particular problem is solved. And the last card you have up is major. You started off with a major arcana and you end off with a major arcana, the emperor in the upright position, Mars ruled card, um, which is also associated to the size of Aries and Scorpio. But Mars is, is a, a, can be sometimes the planet of conflict. So yes, the emperor can sometimes uh, resolve conflicts and sometimes he can cause <laughs> conflicts. Um, the emperor in the upright position is more likely to be able to, you know, resolve conflicts. Uh, also too, this is a, a person who's in a situation of um, control and authority. So this could be representative of your boss or someone who's in complete control of a situation. This could be somebody who's assisting you, it could even be your boss or someone boss-like. It could be, um, you know, the head honcho of some, th of some company that is assisting you or helping you. Others of you, this could be just a matter of control. It could be you yourself feeling like you need to keep strict, strict control over the situation so that you don't go back into that again. So whatever the situation is, it does look like it's going to be a pretty good week. You do have the Ten of Cups after all as your overall energy. So that was your reading, Leo. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.